we had a request to make a set of seven trivets with B1 through B7. I've done trivets like this before with a single letter and that can be supported all the way around the perimeter. But this took a little creativity because I didn't want the number to be on short grain and break off. I don't think it would break in use, but machining it, it might. I decided to cut some cross grain inserts for the back. So I cut those. Got them sanded to where they'll fit just fine. And then cut the air vents and the insert pocket and then glued it in. I did this for all seven. This is just a standard pocket clearing profile with a quarter inch down cut spiral running at 18,000 RPM and I think at 125 inches per minute, not real fast. And the inserts fit just fine. I allowed a couple of thousandths clearance. Uh, the nice thing about parchment paper, unlike wax paper, this just comes right off. You reuse this. I've been using that piece for about a year, I think. I'll make the initial cut with a down cut bit cut a hundred thousandths and that way when I switch to an upcut bit it won't leave a frayed edge. I think this is at 125 inches per minute also. There wasn't any real need to cut it any faster. If I was doing 50 of these, maybe so, but doing seven wasn't a need. And using the screwdriver to clear the channel is an OSHA approved method, I think. This is boring down to the bottom of the three quarter inch thick board. And then when the adaptive clearing profile takes over to cut all the way through in one pass, it's just insane looking. And with the dust collector, it catches all of that. It pulls it out of the pocket and leaves it real clean. I'm just going to let this run at real speed for the entire pocket. I think it took four minutes. It leaves the surface wall pretty clean, but I'm leaving seven thousandths. And then I'll come back with that same bit and take another five thousandths off, cutting it in conventional. This is a climb cut and let it just clean the wall up. And then I'll switch to a one eighth inch bit 
down cut spiral and it'll take the final two thousandths off also in conventional cut And the weird sound you hear that sounds like an 80s sci-fi movie is the shot back slowed down to one quarter speed. chips carry the heat out because they're all just flying out of there at hyper speed. <laughs> they're really flying out. This is cutting conventional just to clean up the side wall. And it's amazing to me just how cool the bit is when that finishes. It is just barely warm in the pan. This bit leaves the surface to where I don't even have to sand anything. As you can see, there are a lot of bit changes. Some of the bits zero off the top of the piece, some of them zero off of the spoil board. I'm going to cut the outer perimeter. The rough cut is going to leave tabs. The finished cut is going to be a conventional cut. The rough cut is climb cut. And the finish cut is going to cut the tabs off so that I can remove this piece because I have to chamfer this in the next step. But I can't do it with this in place and I don't need this to move. So hopefully those three screws are going to hold. We'll find out.
string insert was to give this one stability by having grain running both ways so the disc doesn't break off. Thanks for watching.